Hi, and welcome down to the Devon Koi Pond. Well, as you can see, it's not looking good in the water. I gave into it. I had to use the clover leaf. Right on cue, the neighbour next door has got the builder in, as you can hear. Now I treated it 20 minutes ago, and uh, it'll stay all milky and white like that now for a day, two days. They say on the uh, tub that it uh, could be two days to a week, but uh, the filters are cleared out before that. But I've slowed all the pumps and everything down so that uh, I don't just uh, rip the stuff straight out into the in the filters. I want it to settle around in the pond, land on all the blanket weed that's there. Didn't want to do it, but I had to. I used the pink crystals first last year and they just didn't work for me. But uh, use this after it. Never used to have too much trouble with it in the old pond. One year, I think I had to use it. But other than that, I didn't seem to have the problems with it. But full sun all day. That's what just happens. A lot of people have already had to treat. I managed to get away with it till now, so I'm counting myself lucky. What a mess. Really nasty. You can actually see on the pipes there kind of coverage right around the pond. It's a good centimetre to just over. In some places even stringier. The veg filter was the worst hit. I started and tipped some in there and worked my way through it. This now settle out on all the weed in the pond. Hopefully next week it'll be a different story. So as you can see, I managed to get into the school workshop this week. So I had enough space uh, to make me tray, the last one. I'm hoping for a third one, but I think I'm lacking in materials. If I do, it might be a little bit smaller. But I haven't got uh, any large sheet stuff left. It's not the prettiest of welds, but I've uh, filled them full of water and tested them. And uh, they hold water. So I've uh, just got to have a play around in the end of the veg filter get the 40 litre tub cleared off there that grass the stuff's on top of it so i can get the grog out of it to put into these two i'm going to go for a layer of grog in it with the plant pots in between it might even stick the grass in it in the corner but uh, it's really for growing some watercress so the koi don't destroy it all so that's your view of the fish I think it's lucky uh, I videoed them off the patio the other day. Is uh, that's going to be the intro today? Looking at this, phew, you can't see a damn thing. So welcome back to the classroom. I expect it's a good few years since a few of you been in our classroom, but uh, we're back here today, and I'm uh, welding up the last tray. So I've uh, jigged up the first side here on the tray. Got the gun warming up and we'll uh, go around and uh, tack the two sides then the ends on with one divider or two dividers in it and then I'll seam it all up and weld the strips in but first off let's uh, get this tacked together I know Whiteley used it the other day, watched his video, was thinking I'm going to get away with it, I'm going to get away with it, but nah, damn stuff, very open here, a lot of sunshine, the sun's on it uh, from when it gets over the edge of the pond in the morning, till about 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, full sunshine, and the stuff loves sunshine, so... 
I've been cleaning the filters this week uh, nearly every day thinking I'm gonna, I won't use it I won't use it but there damn I have now so that's the state of play down here today update on the trays next week I'll have them a uh, bit of more of a clip of me making the last tray and uh, the plumbing in filling full of stone such like I'll slip that into there I'm hoping it does act as some kind of river filter but uh, I'm not putting anything more than alpha grog in it it's uh, really just to put the plants in so they're not in the pond because you know uh, Mimulus takes up uh, so much space there hopefully that one's goblin nitrates water chest tests all been good this week again did one on Monday I did one today now and it's the Friday that's all been good I'm gonna get down and mow the lawn later do the rest of the stuff in the garden really got to have a good tidy up here it's finding the enthusiasm for it it's too nice to sit down by the pond crack and open the can of Stella or open the bon bottle of wine depends on the day I'm starting to get very bored here at home now lucky I got the pond to keep me interest I'd like to say hi again to all the new subscribers if anybody's uh, got any questions on the pond or anything to do with it please feel free to put it down in the comments and I'll answer if I can have you got any queries on your own pond I want to know something my emails on the channel page you can email me there we'll put a comment down in the comments page be more than happy to try and help you out we're all in this together. As James and Coy Whisper said the other day, we're all here to help each other out. Ooh. As to that, James has said he's definitely going to pay me a visit this summer. He said he would last year and he got too busy involved with the kids and the pond. That sort of thing happens, I know. But I, I was fortunate enough to visit him, have a look around his pond, beautiful pond, some really cracking fish, mine are tiny compared to what uh, he's got, mine just uh, haven't grown that much, probably stunted in the first pond I had, because that was only 1,800 gallons, this one's 1,000 gallons more with the veg filter, so I'm hoping for a little bit more growth on the older ones, but uh, the newer ones uh, that I've got in the last uh, three years I'm hoping that they'll pile on some size but the way the little buggers are eating it's gonna cost me an absolute fortune I've uh, nearly polished off five kilos of summer food already they'll, they're piling it down in fact I don't know where it's going to they're eating it so much so much of it well there anyway for this week hope you've enjoyed not seeing the fish I will slip the clip in later, like I say, if I can uh, remember to video it as the water clears. I reckon about tea time today. It'll be a bit murky still, but you'll be able to see them. And probably by tomorrow morning, it will have cleared itself. So from down here in sunny Devon, with a murky pond, and hopefully the blanket we die in, I can hear it screaming, I think. We'll be back with you next week, where we can see the fish proper. So from down here in Devon, Bye for now, and happy ponding. Enjoy it.